Hi everybody, this is Charlie. And my name is Nick. And we're here with our True North channel again to be able to show you the different trims of our Silverados. So we've got them all lined up here and let's get into it. Okay everybody, starting off the work truck trim level, this is the bottom of the lineup for the Chevrolet trims. Now what you're gonna see here, we do have the aluminum rim upgrade. It typically just comes with steels to start. The work truck does have just the Chevrolet across the front. Same with the next two trims instead of the bow tie. This one here does start with rubberized flooring, but you get the backup camera, touchscreen display, wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, things like that is standard in the vehicle uh, with the two engine options being the 5.3 liter and the 2.7 liter Turbo Max engine. So typically there will be one right in between the work truck and the custom trail boss. We unfortunately don't have one at the dealership today, but to tell you a little bit about it, the 2.7 liter engine Turbo Max is the only option for the engine in that trim level. You will get the power driver seat, remote start, as well as a three prong plug-in 400 watts inside the cab and one inside the box. Those are standard in that trim level. Moving up to the custom trail boss, very similar feature wise coming down to the custom but it's the Trail Boss Edition. You're gonna have the two red tow hooks on the front. You have an, uh, black aluminum rims that are standard. You of course have this hood scoop, a two inch lift kit from the factory. And uh, yeah, that kind of completes the look of it. And it does come standard with the Z71 off-road package, which is better suspension than what you'll get in the other trucks. Uh, as you see, you still have the Chevrolet across the front and you do have the 3.5 3.0 liter Duramax engine as an option, as well as the 5.3 liter and the 2.7 in this tr trim level. Moving up to the LT. So this is where things really start to change. Leather becomes an option. The 13.4 inch display is inside the vehicle now instead of just the seven inch in those ones. You do have the digital driver cluster as well. You have a sunroof as an optional equipment. Uh, of course, as you could see, the bumpers are chrome front and back. Uh, so that's some of the main stuff inside this vehicle here. Going over the RST, as you can see, the bumpers are painted. So they're not actually chrome on this one. Very similar feature wise to that one. Same engines you're able to get in both. The Duramax 5.3 are that two liter turbo max engine. Same things are optional, leather, sunroof, uh, but quite a bit of other things. But this is really the middle ground for the Chevrolet lineup and some of the most popular trim levels we do have. So moving on. Hi everyone. As Nick's explained all of the other trim levels over here, we're now at the LT Trail Boss. Uh, very similar to what the LT is for features, but uh, the same look as the custom Trail Boss. The difference between, so that you can identify the two, is the bow tie in the LT Trail Boss, where the other one has the Chevrolet in the grill. This one here uh, from the LT moving up, you do have the option of the uh, HD surround. This is where you can see there's a bump up here. That means the cameras are in the mirror around and all around the vehicle. Now, uh, outside of that, you again can get the cloth or the leather interior. The bucket seats come uh, standard into this vehicle. You then also have the rear uh, sliding window and a few other features like the sunroof and so on that you can add into this vehicle. Moving on to the LTZ. Uh, this is where your leather interior is standard on the, the trims moving forward. You get the chrome look that some of you might be looking for. Uh, you can see it over here in the grill, on the mirrors, on the door handles, giving it a really nice uh, rich look here. Uh, this is where also you can start getting that technology package or that heads up display option, the uh, rear view mirror option, uh, those kind of extra details that uh, you might want for your driving experience to be um, safe and, and better. Now, we're at the high country. You still have the best of both worlds with some of the chrome features and the painted bumpers. Uh, this is where, again, more of the technology comes into play where you can have some of the power uh, assist steps that comes in, which then you also have a package that allows you to have Super Cruise in this vehicle. This is a big, big thing. Super Cruise is now uh, on most highways uh, within Canada and, in, and the United States, uh, which allows you to be 
completely hands-free as long as you're looking forward. So something really cool, which we will add a video about Super Cruise later in the future. Now, we all know the ZR2 and this is the boss of all the vehicles. Now you also have the front end that comes in a little uh, cleaner. So if any of you come and decide to do any off-roading, you're not gonna catch that bumper that's gonna get caught uh, underneath so skid plates and so on that are all available for that off-roading opt action you uh, then have all of the features that something like the high country has which is really amazing lots of really nice features the leather interior you can get the sunroof in here you can get uh, all of those extra uh, high-end features that come into the high country in this ZR2 um, and obviously in the back is where you end up with the Multimatic suspension. This is a suspension that out, out performs most of the other trucks and why it gives you the option to do that off-roading. You'll see it down here in the yellow. That's the suspension that you're looking for to be able to do that off-roading. So I hope that all of this information was able to uh, clear things up between the trim levels. And uh, if you have any questions, comment below, uh, give us a like and uh, send us a message if you have any other questions or would like us to go in detail about any of the information or specific trim levels. Thanks again.